Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. We're on the boat. Last time we saved Jill from her uh, chest bug. This ship is And huge. thus begins. Do you think they're planning to use it to spread Uroboros? No. Using a ship like this would give away their position too soon. They must have another yeah. plan. Oh, what's that? That's a flag. So, uh, yeah, now we're on the boat. Uh, we're at the end of the game here. We're gonna be, uh... Later! Uh, we're gonna be completing the game, uh, and finishing up this playthrough. So, yeah, uh, we got the Hydra shotgun now. Chris Ames has one hand, because he's badass. <laughs> Ready. Alert of the guards. What the fuck, man? Who threw that grenade? Do you? The shotgun is not good for accuracy. Fuck it, would you die? Oh no, shove and go get that gold. By the way, there's a uh stuff here. There's an emblem. There's an emblem. Um it's like way out here in the distance. You see it? Right there. I highly doubt I can get that. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, just missed it. Come on, Chris, hold your shit steady, bro. Oh, that's totally not gonna hit. Maybe that one? Oh, let's see. No, it just passes right through. We can hit these guys, though. Oh, square on. Oh, this guy. Ooh, blown away. There he goes. Up down here, there should be some dogs. They're gonna like bust out. They're gonna bust. Bust on through. It's uh See, the shotgun is what breaks all the good uh is the good box breaker. Stairs. Bugs. See you. See you. Should have a big dude come too. Hi. Hi. I love this thing. I love this hiding. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, he's gonna become the big guy. See ya. Oh no, he's still alive! Back away! Okay, well, let's go. Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Thanks, uh, you know, you need to be careful. Yeah, by the way, as you can see, we're wearing the, uh, the clubbin. Chev is clubbin, and I'm I'm stars, man. Did she, I swear to God, did she use the green herb? Okay. I'm gonna hand you this. I owe you one. And I want Get you to herb. give me this. this. Find that. Thanks. Give you that. So nice to just be able to do that. Save over here. Like we give like one box, sure. Good old knife. to get in here. Raise that, but we need to raise it. <laughs> French Shava, help me push. Thank you. Always gets dropped and locked in the cage. Oh, thank you. Did that for nothing. Get the stuff. God, I didn't explode. All right, sir. Shotgun. Okay, now she's under attack by these fucking dogs. The problem is you don't want to use the you don't want to use the rocket launcher because if she gets hurt. Um, already getting hurt, but... She actually got him. Thanks. Come on. Really? Well, 
let me jump down until. Fucking time. That crap. I'm just like gonna stand there and wait for you. Come on. What's going on without you? Up this. you do you absolute nimrod look at this shift all this crap down here Other one? Oh my god, she's such a stupid bitch. here for the safe. There we go. For the muns. Muns. 
she's useless. She's like, I'm just gonna stand over here by the ladder. Are you done? She put the clubbing outfit on. She became a completely different use. Like, well, I'm wearing this, this like dress. I'm wearing this mini skirt and this like top, so I don't have to give a fuck about anybody. Head inside. All right. Don't be right. Much appreciated. Why did you just do that? You absolute dumbass. Could have used that for God's sake. I don't know where she got the first aid spray from. go so now we got this whole area inside of this uh, ship that won't be a problem once he knows we're here he'll find us how do you know that let's just say we have a history together and he's not the type to let grudges go. Mm. He must have done something to really piss him off. It goes a bit beyond just pissing him off. So, are you going to tell me what happened? Maybe. But not until after we put an end to all this. Deal? Okay. But I'm holding you to that. Yeah, she doesn't know about... The ...history with, uh that Chris has. Alright, so now into this area here. Oh, we have this cutscene. Group. Freeze! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns either of you. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. That's kind of a dangerous thing to do, firing a gun in a She's lab tough. like that. I'll give it that much. That's reckless. What's this? What does it look like? It looks like a bunch of fucking viral samples. Chris, is this? Whatever it is, Excella seemed protective of it. Well. Okay. Try cell computer. Try cell research from Miguel's journal number two. May 8th. Our current aim is to develop a virus that surpasses the potential of both the G virus and the T Veronica virus. We need to eliminate extreme mutations, mental atrophy, and instability in the virus. We're told not to be concerned with retention and rejection rates, but even still, overcoming these three problems is going to be a challenge. Of course, all that is really only a problem for regular researchers. I'm already on the cusp of overcoming two of the problems. The third is proving to be a bit trickier, so I may have to resort to some alternative methods. Sometimes I frighten myself with my own ingenuity. Tricell is fortunate to have someone of my intelligence on their payroll. Alright, brag about it, dick. You can break these, by the way. Just smash and grab. That's the door we came in. What'd you just take? She got another herb. Another herb. Okay, fucking door open. Oh, they're all just unaware at this point?
wash grenade. Very good at throwing grenades, apparently. Uh, oh well. Sh um, you know what? We're gonna start this. Give me an herb. Give me this, please. Shit. That guy's ass on fire. Hi. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, what do I want to do? What do you find? Shotgun, tight corners. See a bitch. Damn. I took six shotgun shells to the face. Oh, I thought it was a. Hi. Out and hit him. Shotgun. How are you supposed to get these? Oh my god. Uh. You grab it. Roger. Take it. Roger. Roger. All right, we should get a machine gun guy now. Bye. Their weapons keep getting bigger. Take cover. Yeah, don't worry. It's not that. Bad. All right, let's kind of get rid of all the crap, shall we? Guard this. Guard this. That you up. Grab it. Okay. Pull up on that. Let me request this. So I can discard it. I need ammo. Use this. this. Well, we really only want. Oh, oh come on. I need really ammo. Use this. Items. But I'll discard it regardless. Discard this as well. Yep, there's this. Which I can use to combine. I owe you one. Super. Jump down. There's some side as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rocket launcher out. Always needed for this part. Alright. Even though I have both of them, take the other one. Let's go. Remember, 
There's a rocket launcher guy. Drop a dead bride's necklace. Sometimes these like little alcoves, I don't remember if there's anything in them or not. Up we go! Oh yeah, cutscene. So, you've made it this far. How? Too you can just stop the elevator. Much further. You can just stop the elevator. The superior breed of humans. Given birth by the progenitor virus. The Wesker children were entrusted with endless potential. Of them, only one survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I actually think that's I was Emperor to become Palpatine. A god. I think that's a. Uh, hold on, let me see. Creating um, a new what's his name? world with an advanced race of human beings. However. Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <laughs> well, I guess it's not. No, my it's candle Adam, burns dimly. Adam D. Clark. Adam Clark. Uh, ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortal. The right to be a god. So it's, um. Uh, Ian McDermott. That right is now mine. Because he talks about the Wesker children, which is very, like. <clears throat> still don't really know a lot about that. The right to be it's a god. It's been mentioned in a few other things. You. How Spencer Aaron lived to be in this until the end. Kind of ridiculous. Only one truly capable of being a god deserves that right. Whisker is such an ass. <laughs> just such a piece of shit, man. The right. With Uroboros, I have that right. So yeah, there we go. It's... Accuracy was Garbo, but, you know, I expected it to be, considering the shotgun use. Yeah, so the Wesker children, it's kind of talked about in some of the offshoot stuff. Um, like, not the... Uh, um, not necessarily like uh, any other games, but it is mentioned in. Um, God, it's uh, it's mentioned in the not the Wesker reports. It's in something. I, I'd have to I'd have to look it up, but it's 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 been mentioned only a couple times. Uh, and beyond that, uh, we don't really know much about it. Um, I mean, they might have talked about it in Resident Evil 6. I don't remember. Because I know that with, uh, with G, 
Jake. Uh, what's the new thing that we got? Oh, we got the uh, the Topaz uh, Oval. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, in terms of upgrades, um, sniper rifle is the next upgrade. the sniper rifles last because it's not something that I really ever use, so. Uh, I think we're gonna actually also take out the, uh, no, well, uh, are we gonna end up using it? I don't think we are. Uh, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Let's keep the Magnum. Just a good old trusty. All right, so this this level is pretty pretty short. Pile of bodies. What the hell happened here? Uh, 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 oh, sell ate too many. Uh, What's going on? Ends. Maybe she's got lactose intolerance. <laughs> she's got to take a massive trip. <laughs> How nice of you to join us. Wesker. <laughs> Don't worry. Your mission is at its end. Ouroboros is on the eve of its appearance. Six billion cries of agony will burn the new balance. <laughs> That's such a lie. Sorry, Wesker, but not on my watch. Albert! Wesker! You said we changed this world together. Oh, Albie! Why? Why? Wesker doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Yeah, Wesker doesn't have a partner. He literally you will anybody. Understand, Chris. One glimpse of my new Albie. world, and it will all make perfect sense. Show yourself! Unfortunately, it's too late for you. You will not live to see the dawn. Well then, how are you going to say one Tara, glimpse of your world if you'll understand? She's not going to live to see it, right? Though you have been an excellent asset, I have one last task for you. Uh, Albert! What the hell? Farewell, oh. old friend. gonna have to. So yeah, this level's kind of, I mean, it has Persistent this, like, interior bit here, but it's mostly a boss fight, so this level. What? And it's made super easy by the, uh... I don't know. Oh. We gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. 
It's uh, this this level's made ship. pretty easy. The rocket launcher. I can't stay here. Gotta dodge. But there's mostly just treasures and stuff in here. that I forgot to put any healing items in the inventory just now. <laughs> so this is all we got. Thanks. There you go. So you better be careful. By the way, these guys are Shabba. Oh, I forgot it again. Report on Project W, August 28th, 1998. So yeah, this is this is a little bit about the uh, Western Project, I believe. Uh, it has been confirmed that the accident at the Raccoon City Arc Day Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W, test subject number 13, hereafter referred to as Albert. Death in the, uh, in the accident has been uh, has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Upper's death was confirmed by the information department. Upper's death puts the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the project has been drastically reduced. It must be reduced immediately. This poses a grave situation for any progress that can hope to be made in the project. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses, it would be uh, advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this, adjustments can be made and will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Uh, Umbrella Information Department Alex W. Alex Wesker, brother. Um, Spencer's Notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posed by the threat of the T-Virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of over 100,000 of their own people. If the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even the child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have. To hide their own foolish mistakes, they will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City's annihilation. It would seem Umbrella will share Raccoon City's fate, but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. Umbrella was nothing but a tool for the research of the progenitor virus. Without, uh, even without that tool, the research still survives. Only Umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its dissolution. If the secret research involving the progenitor virus is protected, then I can always rebuild anew. I've, always, I've already made preparations for such a plan. The research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there that the progenitor virus is produced, something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility's existence thanks to the strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confined to the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. 
All that remains is to close that facility and everything will go according to my plan. Once the facility is gone, all its connections to Umbrella will disappear with it. Then I will have to deal I will have to deal with anyone that has a level 10 security clearance as they are the only ones who know the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be similar similarly disposed of. My secrets will be protected. When one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. For now, it's stuck inside the notebook. Personnel with access to company secrets. Oswell uh, Spencer, deceased. These are all level 10. Hitting P, imprisoned. Uh, Masaki T, deceased. Jenny K, whereabouts unknown. Carlos M, found, information obtained, eliminated. Brandon B, uh, Frank E. Isabella C, Greg A, Lee D, Michael K, Ethan W, all deceased. They're all level 9. So yeah, you know, uh, Spencer was right. They did uh, come for uh, Umbrella. Uh, they, you know, that's actually what they talked about at the beginning of Resident Evil 4. Satellite laser Shango operating manual. Doesn't matter because Saturday we're not gonna use it. We just might have a chance. We're targeting devices on the roof. Come on, there's no time to lose. We don't need it. We have a rocket launcher. One with infinite ammo. one of the shortest I mean if we didn't watch like the cutscenes and stuff so again a because I got a C for enemies routed this is one of the hardest levels to get an S in because the the only way for you to do it like to get like an S or like an, even an A in enemies routed is to actually let the boss drop all the little enemies on the ground and then you have to kill all of them and once you kill enough of them you'll get like an A, but you always end up usually getting like a C, which drops your, your you know, rank to an A. This is, it's one of the harder levels. It's, it, you know, especially when you're speed running it, um, it's one of the harder ones to get like an S in, just because of what you have to do in terms of enemies, uh, enemies killed, so. Okay, we'll sell that. We'll actually put some, you know, healing items. That's all the treasures. Uh, I only have 4,000. Okay, let's combine this. for the world if that ever gets out. God damn it, Wesker. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. Destroying the entire planet. I've heard that line so many times, I just, every fucking time I have to repeat it. It's so funny. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. Wait. And a thought bomber. When Jill said Wesker yeah, was whole plane. to spread throughout the world, he's planning to use this to spread it. Yep. Wesker, there he is. Come on, let's go. He's just standing there. Jill, 
Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just listen carefully. There's something I need to tell you. Wesker's superhuman strength. It comes from a virus. But the virus is unstable. In order to maintain a balance, he must inject himself regularly with a serum. So if we cut the supply of serum, he loses his strength. Affirmative. But he just took a dose, so it's going to be a while before he needs another one. Listen, Excella said that the amount administered has to be precise. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used the serum label PG-678W. PG-678W? I'm gonna try to find a way to escape. <laughs> that sounds familiar! You need to find that serum. Where were those others and numbers before? And an attaché case. Jill, come in! Jill! Shit. Yeah, we have a, we have a dose of that. Chris. This is it. Chris, look. That shit that we got earlier that we only took one of? Let's give it, it a shot. <laughs> what a pun. Let's give it a shot. Obama equipped with missiles. He can't fly around in that without getting shot down. Oh, God. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. Uh, if it does, it'll initiate a biohazard. It's just like There's a this. fucking thing here. He's planning to right? spread this virus worldwide. Looks that way. Things I'm talking so I can thought. see. We have to stop him here and now. Oh, there it is. Uroboros plan. The Uroboros virus will have a direct and substantial impact on human DNA. Those who possess inferior genes will find exposure to the virus fatal. Most of those infected will be unstable to withstand this win uh, winnowing. The handful of survivors will be limited to those who possess superior DNA. There is no room in this new world for those who do not qualify. A new day will dawn only for the chosen few. Tonight, Ouroboros and I shall awaken the best of this world. Everything is on schedule. When the bomber reaches the uh, tropopause, the missiles uh, carrying the Ouroboros virus will be deployed. Once released, the virus will enter the upper troposphere and spread using the wind currents. It is, it is then that humanity will receive its final judgment. A virus possesses no emotions, and therein lies its beauty select only choice humans from around the world. The ones who are not chosen will become hosts for Ouroboros, and their existence will consist of only searching for new hosts. Once set into motion, nothing can stop this chain reaction. The den of six billion screams will close the book on humanity's ignoble past. Sounds a little, uh... Sounds a little like a... Nazi-ish, if you're... A little fourth Reiki to me, I think. <laughs> Alright, so now we just really have a battle arena to get to Wesker, and then Warning. we have a couple boss battles. Oh, yeah, this guy's gonna get blown away. Bye. All right, fuckers. Oh, nice. Nice uh, calling that grenade there. Alright, let's just go up here and hurry up and pull this thing. Because the doors have to open.
an egg? Hell yeah. items all around, but I don't want to waste my time getting them. We have plenty of health items. We have this sweet rotten egg. Let's not waste our time. Come on, lady. In the elevator. I'm into the room. Can't explain it. Yeah, I hear ya. Hello, Blondie. There's no way out this time. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. Here's the classic uh, glasses throw scene that was in the movie. They did in the, the fifth movie. Oh. Right through the glasses. <laughs> Every day, humans come one step closer to self-destruction. I'm not destroying the world. I'm saving it. Saving it every time. What's the point of firing your gun? He can literally dodge bullets. He does this continuously. Why do you continue to fire like this guy's a lost? You gotta pull out the big gun. You gotta fire the rocket launcher. Do it. Things are really getting interesting now, eh, Chris? Do you actually think you can defeat me? Either way, I'm not gonna stop until I'm dead. <laughs> well then, I'll just have to kill you quickly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's the broken one. Duh. Okay, let's do this one. If we take advantage of the job, we might actually hit him. Has it never occurred to you that this planet is overpopulated? Only a handful of humans truly ignorant creating. Do it now! Give him the shot! Jacked up! So, the, the, this actual boss fight, you actually have to unlock the rocket launcher you need from fire rocket at him just to do that. But when you have the infinite one, you never need to unlock the rocket Did it launcher. Work? I think so. Well, it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. Red cat eyes instead of the yellow. Chris. You may have poison. Shit, he's getting away. Hurry. This was also. Uh, I know I say the Resident Evil movie as if there was six of them, but you know the one I'm talking about. There was five, I believe. Well, four had the Japan uh, Tokyo thing. Come on, grab on! Yeah, you know. yeah, they took a lot of stuff from this game and put it in like the fifth movie. Execution of Axe Guy. The uh, glass throw, the glasses throwing scene. Alright, now we got another QTE type cutscene here. It Fuck seems I may have underestimated you, Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. I have Ouroboros. In less I than have. five minutes, we'll reach the Captain Crouch. Altitude for That's my deployment. favorite cereal. It's everybody else's favorite cereal will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Saturation. Do the sprint at us. Go. Your feeble attempts only delay the inevitable. Genesis is at hand, and I will be the creator. Mac and cheese has gone all hard the next day when you put it in the fridge. Oh, 
volcano. We're headed for Mount Wheeloa. Imagine crashing into an active fucking volcano. What the fuck? I actually thought that was one of the coolest parts of this game. Like, oh, the the final part of the game is in the volcano. Come on, Roger. Take it, Roger. All right, let's just dump off the crap. Um. Is there any more healing items around here? comes. I should have killed you yet. He's kind of, you know, it's kind of ripped a little bit. Chris. Your mistake. It's over, Wesker. Over. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Just need to run down here. Because we need to go punch this boulder. Just hold on, Sheva! out of
That's that's the most like mean part of this game. Is remember. I got the you, don't human worry. race requires judgment. You're going to judge us? Do you get all your ideas from comic book villains? <laughs> Of course, he's gonna follow us up here in the middle of the just gonna keep shooting with the rocket launcher. Let those little hardies expose. Like a rocket. Ready, partner? You're going Locked and loaded. Suck on this, Wesker. What's so time's bad. up, you son of a bitch. Later. Ripped right through his dome. That was for our fallen brothers. to get a Resident Evil spinoff of just Josh. He goes on his own adventure. That's it. There you go, guys. That's, the, that's Resident Evil 5. I got a really... I got, I got a lot of... flip in the throat today. There you go. Am I gonna... You're not gonna watch kids. You're not gonna watch that crap. All right. Oh, accuracy and A. Go fuck yourself. Oh, it's because I was like wildly shooting the um, just rocket launcher everywhere. Yeah, well, it's all right. It's all good. 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, can we afford to get anything? I uh, know, not special science. Is there anything on the bonus features? Uh, 5,400. I don't think there's... I mean, that's 6,000, but... And uh, the versus characters and everything, but... It's that fourth pistol. Uh, that's the submachine gun, the first of the scorpion submachine gun, and these are all the snipers. Sniper rifles right here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, we will be back with more Resident Evil uh, at the when uh, Resident Evil 8 comes out. We're going to be doing Village, and uh, we'll see Chris again, as well as good old Ethan Winters. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I never want to play this game again in my life. I've played through this game probably over 30 or 40 times. I never want to play it again. So this is it. This is the this is the, probably the last playthrough ever. I'm gonna just delete it from my life. Um, so yeah, take care, everybody. I'm hope I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, and like I do at every end of my video, if you want to see all the rest of the parts, you can go to my YouTube, uh, which is. Uh, just like on, on Twitch, Human After Everything, youtube.com slash driver98753. Um, and you can go see all the playthroughs. I got all kinds of stuff. We got a lot of stuff coming up this year. Uh, stay tuned for Resident Evil 8 coming. Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition's coming. We're going to have some VR stuff later this year. It's it's all, it's, it's happening. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and goodbye.